So hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm here with my sister, hi. Ava, and also with Cheesy Boy. Smelly. Yes, he's eating his bone. It might it might distract us from the loud noises, but we, we're gonna have to turn this up so we can, you know, hear. And the first, and this is all called, reacted to True Story Scare Animations Part 5, because we haven't done one of these in like forever. So, yeah. And so the first one we're gonna be watching is called the Rocking Chair, and um, yeah. Right, you ready? Oh, I need to get the camera sorted. All right, let's watch it. My name's Jonathan, and there was a time when I used to suffer major sleep paralysis episodes. I used to wake up in a vegetative state where I knew I was conscious. But there's no way I could move my body. And during that state, I experienced some pretty bad hallucinations. These episodes occurred so frequently that I still can't figure out how much of it I hallucinated. And how much of it actually happened. Because there is this one time where things got real. Freaking the hell out of me. In the beginning, it started with me waking up at night feeling stuck in my own body. I could see, feel, hear everything around me, but couldn't act on it until my body was released. Slowly, this state turned into a more complicated condition. For example, I woke up one night and saw myself standing near the bed and watching myself. Wow! I can't tell you how terrified I was after breaking free. I decided to see a psychiatrist for this. Dr. Berman gave me sleeping pills and said with time that it'll pass. He said there's no particular treatment for sleep paralysis other than improving sleep habits, including going to bed at the same time every night, ensuring a comfortable sleep environment free of distractions, and avoiding caffeine before sleeping. I followed his instructions and for a month I did quite well, but things took a bad turn all of a sudden. One night, I dozed off on my living room couch and it happened again. There's not much furniture in my apartment Bro, because I recently hide moved yourself in. Under the Apart covers. from the couch, there's a TV set, a lamp, and a rocking chair. The chair was already in my apartment before I moved in. I think it belonged to the previous tenant, and I let it be as it was extra sitting arrangement for me. I woke up with the same feeling of being stuck. But this time, neither I saw myself, nor I felt alone. Instead, I saw someone sitting in the chair and rocking back and forth. I could tell it was a woman, probably in her late 70s. Wait, the, the most terrifying thing floor. about experiencing sleep paralysis is that you will know that you're awake, but you'll also know that you're seeing something that isn't there in real life. I knew there's no one in this apartment except me when I saw this woman sitting in her rocking chair. She didn't turn her face towards me and made a single sound. She just rocked back and forth. This phenomenon started to occur every night. But I was confident that it was all my imagination. Because as soon as I broke free from the state of trance, the lady was gone. I told my psychiatrist, Dr. Bergman, about this. And he too said the same thing that it was nothing but mere hallucinations. I opted for meditation before going to bed because Dr. Berman said it would help my sleep and I did it for a few weeks. I was almost feeling relieved that I stopped having further episodes until one night I experienced a living nightmare. I had a friend over, let's call him Matt for the sake of the story. Matt and I watched a football match and drank a couple beers. Matt drank a bit too much, so we stayed the night at my place. Around 3 a.m., I heard heavy breathing from a very close distance. As soon as I opened my eyes, I saw a white face leaning over me and looking directly into my eyes. Her white, frail hairs were all over me. It was that woman who rocked in the chair. I wanted to scream, but I realized that I was having an episode and started telling myself that it wasn't real. That this is all my imagination. The woman that spoke to me. You think I'm not real, huh? I was gasping for air, 
as I couldn't breathe out of this shock. She got up and started walking to Matt's side of the bed. I watched her approach my friend with a sinister smile. She slowly came she near doing? him and what then leaned kid? on him in the same manner. Her jaws then started the? to stretch this into a huge wrong. hollow what mouth the? and started devouring oh, Matt's head. Ooh. She was eating my friend's head like a python gulps its prey. Well, Saliva was, was no dripping from her mouth and Matt's right? head was completely yeah, inside it. I can't explain I'll how terrifying like that scene like, was. Like she looked at me with like, her hungry eyes while sucking the life out of my friend. I wanted to break free and pull Matt out of her mouth, but I couldn't do anything but lie like a living corpse. Suddenly, my alarm went off and I sprung on my bed screaming. Matt woke up with a shock and the lady was nowhere to be found. Yeah, because she's not What the real. hell, bro? What happened? That woman, she was... And I passed out that without woman, finishing was... my sentence. Oh, Matt took me to the hospital. Yeah, the doctors thought I had a panic attack in my sleep due to the fit of intoxication. My psychiatrist, Dr. Bergman, was also Bergman? informed. And I stayed in well, intensive Bergman. care for a week. Matt still doesn't know what I saw that night. And I don't think I'll ever be able to tell him. I no longer live in that apartment, but before leaving it, I asked the landlord about the history of that rocking chair, to which he told me. Many years back, this Electric apartment strike. was a healthcare unit for mentally deranged people. Mentally. They had lots of violent patients, among which one patient was the most dangerous. It was a 65-year-old lady who couldn't stand children in her sight. Her she was brought to the unit after trying to devour well, a newborn from a local like, hospital. People claimed her to be possessed, and some even thought she was a practitioner yeah, of witchcraft at her burger. young age. Yeah. She used to sit in that chair and rock back and forth all night and all day. After knowing, okay. I don't think anyone could have stayed in that apartment. But the well, surprising thing is that no one there. lived there before I saw this lady or experienced anything of the sort. I don't know if I imagined her completely, because I knew nothing about her when I started hallucinating her. The other most terrifying thing is that last week I met Matt in a nightclub. He was there partying with his colleagues. Wow. I noticed a ring of bruises on his forehead, which wasn't there before. As I asked him what happened to his head, he gave me a very weird this? reply. He paused and looked at me for a few seconds, and then said, I must have fallen from my rocking chair. Uh oh. What's your feet? <laughs> Jeez! Did you just see your feet? No. God, it was wicked. Anyway, so what was your thoughts on that one, Ava? I probably rate that one a seven. Yeah. Out of ten. I would say, uh. 6.9 <laughs> because why not um so yeah um let's cut to the next scene so, no anyway so now we're gonna watch an airplane story i don't know what this is called but i'm dead okay yeah um, i think it's called story two Wow, yeah, that's so much information, Ava. Story two. Wow. Um, anyway, let's get into watching it. It's an airplane story. Flying by plane is a sensational experience. That's loud. In my job, I have to make business trips all the time, and my company pays for all of them. My name is Ethan. I am 28 and enjoy these trips very much. There. I usually sleep very little and stare at the window of the plane the whole trip. Something about being in do. the sky and seeing the clouds it just relaxes me, makes like me happy. The and the best thing break. is, I get paid for this. The problem is, it's not all roses. My love of flying is almost as immense as my hatred of airports. They are often confusing and crowded. The other passengers are always the angry and the, the employees treat you badly and are never interested in solving your problems. That's what I tell everyone. But actually... There's another yes, reason I don't eyes? like to tell. A memory that I relive on the nights before I set foot in the airport, and it leaves me crying in bed like a child. Wait. I was only eight years old, 
but I had already flown many times. At first, I was an obedient child and always stayed with my parents. But as time went by, I became more confident with the airport and started to get Why in trouble. That day, we were going to Italy to visit my grandparents, so I couldn't calm down because I was so excited about all the delicious food I was going to eat and the belated Christmas presents I was going to receive. Chizzy, you just don't care about your the one who couldn't think about food she was my like mother. Grand. And she's a little ill because of the Mexican food that we had Either eaten way, before we came. It's just the hair. So she kept going to the bathroom. Oh, the hair. I remember at one point I when my mother so ran angry. on, we were in line to get our bags through. I was furious with my father since he hadn't lent me his cell phone because I spent yeah, I mean, too much time playing fan. video games. I, like I didn't want to be booty. with him. So as soon as I found the opportunity, I took advantage of a distraction from my dad talking to the other passengers to carefully get out of line and go to the bathroom to look for my mom. Despite being distracted, my dad quickly realized I wasn't there and desperately started looking for me. But I was already too far away so I went to the bathroom. He have when we go to a restaurant, hair. I can he find the bathrooms like... myself. Yeah, so but after a few seconds, I realized that finding them at the airport was not so easy. Time passed, and I couldn't find them. I wanted to go back to my father, but I couldn't remember how to get back either. The airport was not that big, but from the perspective of an eight-year-old, it was immense. I tried to stay calm, but I couldn't. So with a few tears, I approached a couple and spoke to them. <laughs> Do you know where the bathrooms are? I'm sorry, kid. So it's sorry. our first time traveling. After looking around and seeing me alone, the boy lying. crouched and spoke to me more closely. Hey, are you with your parents? Maybe he's lost. We should take him to a policeman. Before I could respond, oh gosh, an elderly awful. woman who was listening to the she conversation like came out of nowhere she and joined us. Not like Don't get smart. separated from your parents she might like that. Just You'll scare them exactly. to death. That's why you the lady spoke that. to me if as if she knew me if Ms. Smart, and confused my me. Math was then this video. That she was looked at the joke. couple. I'm sorry. He's a very energetic boy. She said, smiling but looking at me a bit angry. I'll take him to his parents. After sharing a few smiles with the young man, the lady took me by the arm and started walking with me. You shouldn't go away from your parents like that young man. This place can be very dangerous. I'm sorry. I got mad at my daddy because he didn't want to lend me his cell phone to play Fortnite. So I went to the bathroom to look for my mom. Well, but you have to understand that they want the best for you. I'm sure you spend a lot of time playing video games. That couple is so standing there. I just bowed oh, my head and kept walking. Come on, let's go to the bathroom to look for your mother. After a few seconds of walking, the lady spoke to me again. And tell me, boy, where are you going? To my grandparents' house in Naples. My grandfather has a restaurant, and he always makes me very tasty food. Oh, and my grandmother has to give me the presents that Santa left me. What a nice family you have, boy. I wish we had all been so lucky. I just seen she said, smiling, open videos. although I could see a little bit of resentment in her words. Anyway, are you doing well at school? Uh, miss, I think we went past the bathroom. We are going to the airport exit. I told her, confused. I may not remember where the bathrooms are, but I did recognize the entrance. Stay calm, kid. Your mom went outside to wait for you. Uh, you just know. sent me a message. Now tell me, what is your you favorite food? Your but you never took out your cell phone. Exactly. Besides, you don't know my mother. Hearing me, what? the well, old lady stopped smiling and grabbed my wrist tightly. She gets for messages grandmother, in her she mind. had a lot of strength. She said, oh, yeah, your At first, uh, I thought she was a little spread. chubby. But then I noticed that her body was very big because she was quite yeah, athletic. Exactly. Miss, you are hurting me. Where are we going? The lady didn't answer me. She didn't even look at me. She just kept walking. Please, let me go. It hurts. I struggled and then shouted, Help! She is not letting me go to my parents. At my desperate screams, everyone turned to look at me. How about? And in the distraction, I managed to get away from the woman and take my first steps alone. Suddenly, Something pulled me back. I felt a sharp pain in my head. Oh, and that's that when I realized pain. that the lady was grabbing me by the hair. Yeah, do you not understand? After pulling me Whoa. back with great force, she slapped me hard and said in a loud voice, 
James, don't embarrass me. It isn't embarrassing. You James. have to stop doing this show all the time. Your parents will be furious. I thought of a thousand things to say to her, but I just couldn't help myself Wait, and started crying time. while the lady took me to the exit. People seemed outraged by what the lady had just done to me, but everyone went on with their lives, believing her. As we walked outside, we took a few steps towards a large white van. Oh, no. There was a hooded oh, man no. with glasses leaning on in. How are you going to put on such a show in the middle of the airport? He said to the lady. How easy it is to give your opinion when you're scratching your... Shut up and open the doors. You f brat, you scream like that again and I swear I'll cut your tongue out. His tone of voice was low but full of violence. I saw his face for the first oh, time. He had yeah, huge sure. eyes with red circles under them and was breathing heavily. He looked as if he could kill me at any if moment. Our Come on, kid, don't I pay any attention to him. In trouble? You must never do drugs it's, or you'll end up work. like this idiot. I'm sorry to hit you. Get in. We'll go get something to eat and I'll bring you to your parents. I promise. The man opened the back doors of the van and the lady took me there. I, I was still a little dazed from her slap, but when I found the opportunity, I bit her hand and ran away. Uh, I couldn't run for more than a few seconds, as the man had already caught up with me, grabbed me by the shoulder, turned me around, and punched me in the stomach, then carried me and threw me violently into the back of the van. The what the f*** did you just do? We are in broad daylight, you stupid junkie. Start the damn van. The inside of the van was dark. I just cried uncontrollably. My chest was about to explode from the pain I suddenly felt. From one moment to the next, there was a lot of shouting and banging outside the van, and a beam of light came back in, and the doors opened. There were people I didn't know, looking at me in relief. My guys. They helped me out of the van, and I could see the police rushing over, while a large group of people stood around the two kidnappers, kicking them on the ground. Within minutes, the cops had taken me to my parents, who hugged me in tears and promised me they would never be distracted again. If I hadn't bitten that lady and the man hadn't been so violent with me, people would never have noticed. And who knows what would have happened to me if that van had started up. From that day on, I decided that I was going to behave better and that away from home, I would never again be separated from my parents. Wow! Okay, so I guess this video is going to get demonetized, isn't it, Ava? I mean, you could just, like, bleep them out. Yeah, I'm just going to put a beep. A blank. Yeah, a beep. A blank. Yeah, and now we're going to watch one more. More. Bye. Bye. So every single beginning is just we always just play to the piano and I think you guys might find that a bit annoying but it's fine. We just do to entertain you guys. <laughs> um so now we're gonna watch um creepy stories caught now, on uh doorbell cameras. This one has like real life footage in it yes. as well. So yeah, so kind of trigger warning, kind of not. Trigger warning? What do you mean? Trigger warning is if, like, say, you're scared of something or it grosses you out or whatever. Yeah. It's not scary. And I swear, um, the cam, like, the first one, I swear I saw that, like, a year ago because I, re I remember that. So let's watch it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. one. Babe, are you sure you're going to be all right? Come on, Mark. I'm not six years old. Yeah, Stop yeah. being so worried. You know, I would have been there if this sudden meeting didn't come up. Yes, I know, babe. Don't worry about me. Concentrate on your work, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. So, um, have you unpacked already? Yeah, mostly everything. Just some vases and antique decor left for unwrapping. Hmm. How are your neighbors? Well, I haven't met anyone yet, but it's a quiet neighborhood, which I really need. That's great. Well, wow. listen, I've got to go now. Take care of yourself. And congratulations on your new house once again. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. See you tomorrow. Where are you going? Wait, it's midnight. Um, 
Is there any talking in this one? I mean, there just was. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like telling them how they like how it happened. Well, there like, isn't so far. Oh, okay. This is silent. Get on the stairs quick. Jeez. Whoa. You know that feeling when you're watching something scary and your feet are on the floor and you feel like you just have to lift them up? I thought you were stripped for a second. Shut up. You dirty minded man. She's just taking all my dressing gowns. She's got pajamas I thought, I thought it was a cardigan thing. That's a dressing gown. <laughs> Put in the comments, dressing gown or cardigan. I don't know if comments will be turned on. Well, they might be. I think they're always on. Hey, hey, look, it's no. a girl. Is that a girl? Hey, that is very open the door. Why is the door not, like on the other side? It's usually on like the door side, not the wall side. That's a, that's a dog. Ruff, 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 ruff. There's a jug on the side. Yeah. Is, he, is he just gonna drink the jug like go 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 go? That's what I do when I can't sleep whenever I have a monster energy. Exactly how he looked. I, I have the footage. 
in my doorbell camera. Great, show us. Oh. He's so close. So that reminds me of someone right there. This is just gross, people. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'll, I'll just go to Fred Dog. Fido. Fido! We were right! Fredo? Why did he say Fredo? Look into a window. We're gonna call her honey. Yo, we can be friends. Can be as if. Bye. Ma'am, we will find this guy. But I, I think it would be better if you could stay with a close one so or if someone street. stays with you until a man gets caught. This isn't over yet, honey. <laughs> my Pennywise. My Pennywise. Hey. Never mind. Don't I don't don't mind that. He's just telling us about him to subscribe to his channel. Does he deserve a million subs? Or do I deserve a million subs? No. <laughs> Anyways, so thank you for watching this video. Yeah, we haven't made one of these videos in a long time. The reaction video, so I would like you to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bells and also like this video. What are you doing? It should be up there. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, I hope you uh, get me to 100 subscribers because I'm doing a massive shout out. Because we're doing a, a giveaway of two. Yeah. Have you not told them about the giveaway? Nope, but I'm going to tell them in a future video because we're running out of well, time. I already told you. Yeah, so okay. I guess I'll see you in the next mm -hmm. video.